Honorable Jedi. A moment, please. I greet you on behalf of the great and noble Senator Dolly Burbark. The Senator sent me as his representative, though he'd prefer to be here himself. He loves to walk among his people. The Senator sounds like a wonderful man. Oh, he's the most wonderful man I've ever met. Today, the Senator sent me to find brave and loyal citizens to help with a security crisis. It involves his work to restore the Republic to glory by re-establishing our technological superiority. We must have wisdom, not just gadgetry. Exactly. Senator Bark has the wisdom and perseverance to lead us all into the future. Recently, the Senator arranged to acquire a shipment of computer chips, advanced hardware that could create whole new industries for the Republic. Unfortunately, the shipment was hijacked by the Migrant Merchants Guild. Now, Republic security is afraid to take on the Guild's thugs. You're looking for outside help? Exactly. The Senator says this issue is really over security's head anyways. Recovering the shipment of chips from the Guild would be a great service to Senator Bark and the Republic. The Force guided me to you for a reason. The Senator will be ecstatic to learn that a Jedi is assisting. To find out where the Guild has hidden the Senator's shipment, you'll have to speak with Security Captain Denel Zahn. He ran the investigation. Then return the shipment to Senator Bark's office in the Senate Tower. I'm sure he'll want to thank you personally. In accordance with Security Force Regulation 1195, conversations with non-security personnel are to be kept to a minimum. Let's make this quick. I'm Captain Denel Zahn. Senator Bark's page ordered me to give you information regarding the Senator's stolen goods. I wouldn't let him order me around. Good. That's why we need to reach an understanding here. Did the Senator's crony tell you where the shipment came from, or what these computer chips are for? Now that you mention it, he didn't explain anything about the chips. I'm not surprised. These political types like to gloss over details. The chips are from planet Ryloth. They're designed to operate remote control slave collars. Under Republic Law 4412, Rylothian slave collars and the chips used to make them are illegal in Republic space, even for Senators. Slavery is an abomination to the Force. The fact is, possession of those chips is against the law. Our immediate problem is that these slave collar chips are spread around the Migrant Merchants Guild headquarters. First priority is get the shipment together again. After that, bring the chips back to me and I'll make sure they're destroyed. How does this benefit me? I can offer you the standard rate. The Senator's probably offering more, but it'll be dirty money. Find the chips and get out of the Guild warehouse. Once you've got everything, I suggest you let us deal with the shipment, not the Senator. Come in. I'm Senator Bark. Hiram has told me he found someone to aid in our cause. I presume that brave citizen is you. Tell me, did you recover my shipment from the Migrant Merchants Guild? Those chips are very valuable. What are you planning to do with these chips? I assure you, my intentions serve the good of the Republic, regardless of what the Captain may have told you. Laws regulating slavery are holding the Republic back. These chips, innovative, labor-saving, and simple to use, can help demonstrate why it's time for a change. The current laws are the ones we must obey. Progress often requires the sacrifice of... outdated ideals. Slavery was once an accepted practice in the Republic. It continues with great effectiveness in many Outer Rim worlds. The Sith Empire makes extensive use of slave labor, which is one of many factors that gives the Empire a military and economic advantage. We mustn't give in to the Dark Side's temptations. I'm not going to debate with you, Jedi. You have no right to impose your order's quaint values on the Republic. I appreciate your help recovering my stolen property. If you give me my computer chips now, you can be on your way. The chips are all yours, Senator. Thank you. Please take this in exchange for your services. Now, if you will excuse me, I have quite a lot of work to do. But I'm proud to have worked with such a patriot.